Generic greetings and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies once again. It's feeling a little bit in devception around here. Obviously, this game is still in early access, but also there's now a beta build available. This is version 9.2 B1, B1 standing for beta 1, and it's something I've not tried, but I have read up on it and it seems quite exciting actually. It's got, for a start, fixes for borders. One, they no longer get stuck, at least that's what I'm uh, led to believe, and two, they are no longer completely overpowered. Obviously, you could uh, build a ship like the Reactington, which we've built and utilised several times in these videos, and you could take over a 5,000 ship with your 400 ship because borders would just get on board and take the lot out. But now borders can be shot from rifles and flamethrowers and flak and all sorts, so it's um, a lot more dangerous for them just to crawl along different things. And also it adds um, biplanes, triplanes, and... Um, like a sort of one-use, single-manned, uh, mini-ship type thing, which is all exciting. So, I thought I'd check it out and bring you along for the ride. Today's beverage is... Uh, it is, um, Summerberry flavoured water type drink. I was gonna say, I was gonna say like a smoothie, but it's not. It is just flavoured water, and it's quite nice, especially on a really hot day like today, with a little bit of ice in it. So let's go over to Design and Fight, and over to the Airship Ed Tor, and we can have a quick look through at what we've got here. So we'll go for probably weapons first, and we'll see some of the new stuff. So if we scroll down, we can see that we've got the Grape Shot Cannon, that's old stuff, heavy cannons. Oh, this is the stock game, by the way. I haven't, um, added anything in here, so there's no mods or anything on it. Um, am I missing something? Is there not... So, am I missing something here? Uh, yeah, there's nothing in the weapon section. It might be in troops then, and it is in troops. So you've got uh, Air Dragoon Barracks. Air Dragoons, uh, boarding troops equipped with, sus equipped with suspendium jetpacks. Alright, okay. So, they've got like I guess they can float around then. That's pretty cool. Um, they are very expensive though for what they are when you compare them to the like, arachnid barracks. You've got a biplane which is... Oh, oh yes. Now we're getting somewhere. Get in, right? Okay, now we can go full on Crimson Skies. Um, we also want, uh, what's this? A Hazaba, which is... <laughs> yeah, it's a single... Uh, a miniature airship uh, piloted by a soldier. Oh, look at that. There you go. I don't know what weapon it's got, but that is really cute. And we've also got triplanes. Yes, so I'm guessing biplanes are going to be faster. Uh, how's a single biplane? Biplanes are very fast and exceptionally good at shooting down other small flying units. And then we've also got a triplane, which will be more bombing runs, I'm guessing. It is how's a single triplane? Triplanes are fast flying units effective against lightly armored targets. So, yeah, it contains spot one triplane and it's got two crew members. All right, so okay, so you have to man the. Uh, the base. Right, okay, so we're gonna have to build, we're gonna have to build a, a carrier, aren't we? We're just, we're just not getting about this. So let's go for probably one, two, three of those, three biplanes and two triplanes. There you go. And that's gonna be our, that's gonna be the top deck of the thing. And then what we'll do is, do these, do these require any resources for a start off? Um, the, uh, it says, requires two supply, Contains crew, and um, maintenance cost too? No, I'm guessing not. I'm guessing it requires some coal. I'm guessing each one of these requires coal, but it doesn't say. Either way, let's just crack on with our ship. So we'll go over to lift, and we'll put probably a large suspendium chamber near the back, like so. And then we'll have it as... I don't know. How do we want to do this? Um, we could have it so the the bridges up top like that and then we'll have a crow's nest which will go up oh we can't have it up there sadly because of the height of this thing we'd have to pull this back over by one and then have a and then have a basic runway runway corridor that goes straight down and i was going to go straight across anyway because i don't think this is going to be very big although mm, that's probably going to change but we'll see how it goes so there's that and then we'll drop that down go over to a where is it telescope we'll put a telescope in here we're going to delete that bit put it up there and then finally we need a crow's nest so there you go there's our sort of command bridge type thing which is cool and then we want a... Hang on, where is it? Where is it? Suspendium chambers, perhaps. Perhaps suspendium chambers in here might work out. Might work out. We'll see. Uh, we've also got a large propeller if we really wanted to do that. Um, that is probably long enough. Uh, <laughs> 
what sort of um what sort of boat do you want to go for? We, we're just trying this out, so we're just making a very long runway. Can you stack them, actually? Um, let's have a quick look. Um, get rid of that. I'm just going to place something, so I'm get rid of that. Get rid of that. And sadly not. Although, that's a bit of a bug. That should be greyed out. Um, that can be placed there. Yeah, so you, you, you have to have free abo a thing above them. Okay, right. Um... Yeah, fair enough. It would be nice to have uh, the the ones that come out from the bottom as well, like hanging ones. You know, like uh, you get on. Well, as I mentioned earlier, Crimson Skies uh, they have some of that in the in that game. Well, they actually, they come out the bottom of an airship, but the you know, ones that hang on the bottom. Indiana Jones and um, the Last Crusade, prime example. You know, when he's on the airship, and he needs to escape with these uh, with with James Bond, and the uh, the they jump on the the jump on the the plane, and then uh, you sort of drop from the bottom of the airship. That would be quite cool to have a single hanging one, but maybe it's a logistical problem. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. It would just be nice. Um, literally unplayable is what I'm trying to say here. No, um, delete that. Actually, we're going to delete that and put a uh, delete that, delete that, put that down there. Probably go for a telescope edge on the front instead of. Um, instead of back there, and now we need probably some, we'll have a repair bay, and then we'll have, actually no, we'll have a repair bay down there, we'll delete that section, we'll then put in a delete basic uh, command and crew, we want a sick bay, like so, and now we need some, probably resources, uh, I will go for a... I'll go for, actually, something a bit different first. Structural fire door. Fire door straight across here. We don't want fire spreading from that. So, obviously, we'll have fire doors. A little bit more expensive, but it will be worth it. And then we'll go down, and then we'll have in our resources. Coal store, one, two, and that should probably do us. I don't think we'll last uh, too l I don't think we'll need it too... I don't, think we'll, I don't think we'll need much more than that. Uh, we'll have a fire right ne fire door right next to it for uh, obvious reasons. We could go for a machine shop, but it's far too big. Fire point, we are going to put another fire point further forward just in case, like so. But then we've got this massive lump that we just don't have anything connected to it. Now, the obvious answer would be to put bomb doors there, and... Yeah, okay. Uh, actually, what's our service ceiling? Uh, 177, so not great. Um, there's pressurized suspendium tanks that we could put. However, they, they explode violently when damaged, which is not something you particularly want to read. However, there is a way of getting about this. And... The way I've found it is you you hang them further down. This is only going to be a carrier, right? We're not making Battlestar Galactica. We're not making, you know, something that's armed with fighters, bombers, loads of flak all over it and stuff like that. Even though I uh, would love to do that, we're not making that ship. Um, not yet. Uh, that, that That's the series later. Uh... <laughs> Uh, I, pro I will be doing a series, obviously, because it's I always do on this uh, on this game. But I'll be doing it um, once there's been uh, once that one well, probably once it's out of beta. I think I'll probably do that. Uh, there's stuff I, I, we won't see in this video because um, you've got uh, what sort of things have you got? You've got like um, robotic bees, I believe, is one of the new things, which is just very, very strange indeed. Uh, as well as, no, robotic wasps, I think. And there's also some bees as well with a big floating hive, which is interesting. Anyway, so what I've, what I've done, as you can see, is I've put these tanks in, and I'll go over to overlays and then explosion damage. You can see that that shouldn't blow these up yet. But uh, if we go to, it'll be in structural and then struts. We want to connect these up like so, and you can see how much damage they will take. They will take a fairly decent amount of damage, which is something obviously we want to try and avoid. But uh, hey ho, so we're going to connect them up like so. And... We don't really need those bits. But if we go back to our mm, walking over there, that wall, that's fine. We don't turn that over there off. We don't need that. So there's our tanks that will keep us suspended in there. And then and our service ceiling is... It's only 204 metres. But by the time we put some guns on it, it'll probably be about maybe 250, something like that. So we'll go for... Weapons and... Mm, actually, you know what might be best? Might be best if I... Do something a bit different here. Um, I just thought of it. We're going to front load the weapons. So there's those four. 
And these are going to be where our tanks go. Because remember, you don't have to... There's no center of... Uh, there's no center of mass in this, so like you don't have to balance them. It's not going to tip forward or anything. So we're going to have this section here. Um, it's a bit worrying that there's only one walkway all the way to the end. I can see that being perhaps a a bit dodgy. So let's just bring these even. Let's bring them down even further, actually, because I don't fancy the entire section blowing up. I don't like the idea of that. Obviously. Um, Perhaps a double walkway. What's our overlay and explosion damage at the moment? Yeah, so that that will be fine if we have it on there. We can even bring these up by one. But you know what? I'm 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 stressing too much over what is essentially going to be a very very quick build of trying to mess around. You uh, you know utilize the new stuff. So let's just let's stop stressing over it. Let's just get some bloody guns on it and we'll fight it out. Uh, over to our resources tab here. We need to get ammo store. We'll put one of those in there, and then we will put a fire point right at the front. So we don't have supply hatches. So we'll get those and we'll get a cargo door in, um, well, we could have it pretty much wherever we want. And I think we'll go for right at the back or right at the bottom like so. Um, yeah. Uh, ship has no crew. Oh, that's a problem. Uh, can't give commands. So no crew. Uh, we'll resolve that by going to command and crew. Cr uh, quarters. Quarters. And we could delete all of these and just put crew straight along. Recommend a crew. Uh, 34. Alright, it's not too much then. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, and air sail is 48. That's fine then. That's no problem whatsoever. Obviously, we need to connect these up like that and like that and like that. And to be honest with you, while we're on, we might as well just connect them all up like so. And then it's job done. And then we'll delete those struts just to give them a little bit more support because it looks better like that way. I mean, it could even do that and sort of connect them up like so. And... Um, just trying to give it a bit more design. Oh, that looks okay. Oh, I'm fairly happy with that. There you go. There is our boat. It is quite expensive, and I don't know how effective it'll be. So it's got two torpedoes on the front because we can, and then some aircraft. Right, uh, it's called the Mutilator. We're going to change that to the um, generic airborne vessel or generic... Um, hang on. No, that was right, yeah. Airship vehicular device, whatever. And it's going to be the... Um it's pretty much the Testington. Carrying ton. To carrying things. Should be the carrier Ington, but I can't really say that very fast. The carrier Ington. Armour is wood. Let's fill it with reinforced wood. Uh, service ceiling currently is 105 or 205. Putting it with the reinforced wood and armour would make it just absolutely terrible. Uh, steel wall would give us a higher service ceiling. Steel armour would give us 88 metres. Heavy steel armor, brick wall, stone wall, massive stone wall, and dragon hide. No, perhaps just wooden armor is the way to go. 105. It's meant to be long range anyway, so that's fine. Obviously, we want to go for some decoration, which we'll put uh, round lawn about maybe here. About there, maybe. No, there. Yes, we'll have a wooden nameplate, which will be at the front. Like that, and actually no, I like it there, perhaps. Bring the round up to... There. Wooden nameplate there. Yeah, that's a bit better. Could have a mouth on the front. Why not? Nah, nah, nah. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't seem correct, doesn't seem correct. Reed! Uh, painting. Job done. Save. Save design, save, done, right, so we'll leave that, combat, uh, dawn, day, dusk, dawn, a uh, day rather, just to make it easy to see, and we'll go to our uh, airship, and we want the carrying ton, and we're going to put it there, yep, it looks cool, and then what we're going to do is probably put it against a, uh, a land ship, and we'll put it against... Actually, yeah, let's put it against the let's put it against the building actually. Red wall? Mm, maybe not. Um Om Nom Nom. Cubington. Cubington. 
maybe? Nah, too much dark, too much dark hair. Om nom nom. This is just a, like a, I guess it, it, it's, it's a melee structure. You know, it, it's designed to chop things, even though it's a structure. And it actually works quite well because it's got harpoon guns and drags them in. So, we've got our ship. Uh, service ceiling, as you can see, is okay. We're going to put up there. It won't be able to hit us because they've only got flak on the top. So, essentially, just press the go button and see what it does. Um, actually, we'll bring it down here because it just it looks a bit better. There we go. Right. Ready to go. Normally, I start. And for a st Oh, look at that. Straight away, there's our torpedoes. Look at the biplane. That's gone. Oh, they're all launching. Look at that. <laughs> That's cool. So, what's happening to these? They are... Yeah, look at that, they're going around and attacking it. Oh, uh, blowing up as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, look, can you see that? See the little shot coming out the top? Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> oh, and here's my bombers as well. Let's see what those do. Are, they, are these actually bombers, though? These No, um, I don't think they are bombers. I think they've just got a bigger gun. Uh, maybe at some point we will get, like, um, little bombs dropped from them. That says Ark, the shouting Ark, and... They've just blown up. Uh, yeah, that didn't work out too well for them. And where's he going? Oh, there we go. I think he is dropping bombs. I think there is bombs getting dropped. That's cool. Well, it would be really good if it actually went and refueled and stuff. That would be sweet. Like, if it repaired itself. But I think it's going to get killed. I think it just keeps going and going and going, doesn't it? Ah, well. I said, if we went back and repair, that would just be, like, amazing. But it's just going to sort of zip around. So it looks like you just launch them, and then they just sort of go back and forward, back and forward, back and forward, and that'll be it. Um, I'm, I'm surprised it's... Oh, hang on, we've got more. Where's he come from? Do you, do you gain more? I don't know. Oh, my God, don't say it. It goes back and... Uh, it does actually go back to repair and rearm. Oh, my God, that is so good. <laughs> oh yes, I'm happy about that. Let's bring this down. Bring the carrier down. There you go. Yeah, that's cool. That is super cool. Look at that. It's just see, it's just going round and firing away there. I, I can't tell if it's dropping bombs or not. No, it's not. It's just it is just firing a gun on the top. It would be nice to have a little bomb come out the bottom. But that was cool. You see that? It actually goes and repairs this thing. So you look, it's actually repairing it. And then it goes off. I think there's no soft start on the launch though. Do you see it? It's like zeros, zero miles per hour, zero miles per hour, zero miles per hour. 90 just takes off. They should be. I also think they're a bit jittery. Um, they don't feel like they've got any weight to them. I think that needs to be a bit tweaked. It would be nice to see them like... I don't know about looping around. I don't mind them flipping around, but... Um, you can see, look, they just go stop, and now they're going the other way. It would be nice if they sort of drifted a little bit more, so slowed down, then turned, and then came back. That would be quite good. But, you know, um, beta patch is beta for a game which is in early access. Oh, God, we're in, in deception again. Either way, I think we've proven that that thing is pretty cool. But we're going to leave that because, yeah, it would be a bit of a miss for me if I didn't actually go to... Uh, Add airship and uh, put the carrying tin in and uh, put one there and put another one about there. Um, <laughs> and we'll have a bit of a brawl. So we'll click start and obviously they're going to launch. Now, do these fighters engage each other? Nope, they do not. Right. Not. Oh, look at that. That actually got shot down there. Oh, they're shooting me down. Oh, they are engaging. They are engaging. So it looks like the fighters are engaging the bombers. That's good. I like that. I like that a lot. What Have I got any other options? Focus on firefighting, repair, aim fire, rapid fire, hold fire. Why is it coming towards me? I really don't know. Either way, that's going to hurt if it hits. No, it didn't. Oh, yeah, it did. It did. Um, so, yeah, it looks like I've lost air superiority now, and I'm just getting shot a bit because of all their fighters. Oh, no, no, some, some of mine are there. I can't tell which are mine. Does it have um, marks on the side? No, it doesn't, right. So, yeah, needing... You need some way to differentiate on the side of these which one's yours. Even if it's just... Even if it's just, uh, like, an outliner, like that. You can see you've got an outline for that ship. An outline for these. Is there a way? 
or am I just... No, I don't think there is a way to determine which one's mine. Um, but yeah, that would be nice. Just be able to see what that is. There's also no controls, as far as I can tell, for the planes. They just crack on... They just go for targeting. I've, um... I've, I've always wanted sort of planes and stuff like that in this game, but... Um, what would be really nice is if you can put them on different missions. So, for example, you can say... There should be, there should be a, a way to order your planes and give them a behaviour. So, for example, say, like, attack... Attack enemy ships... Or, basically, you should be able to set them so they attack whatever you've got this to attack to. So, the moment its default target is this, there should, there should be an option for, say, you do that. Or, there should be, a, like, a an air superiority button that may, basically puts them on focusing solely on the uh, the other enemy fighters and bombers. That would be quite good. And um, maybe, that, that, maybe that is their behaviour, though, because they did immediately go for the other bombers as well. So, maybe that is their default behaviour. Uh, and finally... Um, and this one comes from things like Battlestar Galactica and uh, Babylon 5 and stuff. Putting them in close support with your ship, you should be able to say that, right, them fighters, you close support X vessel, whether it be yourself or another one, and what it would do is basically circle your vessels, and anything that come towards your vessel... Oh my god, I, my my engine and drive's completely gone. In fact, my whole suspendium chamber is gone. I'm only getting kept, kept up by these uh, pressurized suspendium tanks. Um, yeah, let's put them in close support so that if anything comes near... Uh, if anything, like another fighter or prime example, these honk and space missiles that are coming towards me, these things, it would be able to shoot those down. So it would it would be it would be a, essentially a point defense function. Being able to use them as point defense function would be great because you've got then got a lot more. Oh god, I've just blown up all their suspension tanks. It would give you a lot more options and a lot more uh, depth to it because it means that you can now use fighters for. Uh, defending, uh, you know, against these sort of missiles and stuff. I mean, I've always thought that Flak should be able to take those out as well. But, uh, hey-ho. Yeah, that's cool. But yeah, fighters, excellent. Bombers, cool. Love all that. Uh, just want to see uh, more, more like, options added for it. Sweet. Right, we're going to go to leave. Um, uh, come on. By the way, none of that's criticism. That's just my own, like, personal feelings. That that's what I would want it to do, because that would be really cool. Um, and this is beta, after all, in a game that's in early access, so if you're not going to get feedback now, then what's the bloody point? Uh, right, so, uh, let's go to open... Uh, airship editor. Open design. Same design. Uh, Carryington. By the way, sip a beverage. Hang on. Hmm. Well, what I want to do this time is get rid of the weapons at the front because actually, do we want to? No. What we'll probably do is get rid of. We'll get rid of those things. There we go, and we're going to put in these Zabes, which are single launch air, uh, like mini, mini. Um, what are they called? Mini airships? Are they actually called? Yeah, a miniature airship, yeah. So they're like a mini-sub. Like a World War Two sort of uh, mini-sub type thing. I mean, there's other one from World War Two, but I just think of all the raids and stuff <clears throat> that used to use mini-subs. Bloody dangerous job. Uh, right, so we've got those. Uh, we've also got troops that we haven't tried. Uh, Air Dragoons, uh, boarding troops with suspendium jetpacks. Well, again, it would be a bit of a miss of me if I didn't put them in. And I think one, two. And I think that's about it. Yeah. Save design. Version two. Save. Leave. Combat. Uh, in the night time would be cool. No, no, no. Raining. No. Storm. I didn't actually realise that if you go from rain to storm, you get clouds in the back. Or is it just random? Hang on. No, no, it was just, <laughs> just randomly placed. And then you got snow as well. Anyway, so. Uh, we'll go for day. And we want to add airship. Carrington V2. And then finally, building. Om nom nom. Spin you around. One, two. That'll do us quite nicely. Uh, they are obviously on uh, 1,936. I'm on 4,000, so I'm, d I'm more than double. Um, but that's intentional. I'm just trying these things out. So, we have these little um, little mini airship type things. We've got our biplanes, and we finally got these guys as well. So, we will start that, and... Oh, look! The launch! That is so cool! Look at that go! 
Yeah, again, no options for this. They just attack at, at their own whim. They sh like, obviously, we've got options for boarding ships and targeting ships. I really hope we'll get commands for the fighters and these little mini ships. And what do they do? Let's go and shoot away. Look at that. But can you hear that, that firing? That's the flak shooting these down as well. Right, okay. Right, let's try board ship that one. Now, what should happen, hopefully, is these guys... Yeah, look at that! The, the guys here, they walk along and then they go to this where they would normally get out. And yeah, look, they've got little suspension jetpacks. <laughs> Aren't they just the cutest things you've ever seen in this game? <laughs> oh my good grief. So they just fly towards the enemy. Oh, there's so many possibilities. There's so many possibilities for different builds. And again, if... if if the whole fighter things where you can set them to point defense to shoot down these guys w w w is going to be implemented or is implemented, that would be amazing because you've got so much depth added just by these extra bits. And as you can see, the flax taking them out. <laughs> oh, that didn't. Oh! Uh. Come on, one land. Yes! And. Yeah, that was effective, wasn't it? Right, so uh, we tried those out. <laughs> okay, leave that. Right. It's going to have to be done. And finally, for our delectation, add airship. V1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Add airship, V2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right, let's see if I have to buy a new graphics card after this. Start! There they go. Look at that! That's so good! Oh, that's amazing! Look at it go! <laughs> yes, we approve of that. Yep, plus 10 generic approval points for this patch. Uh, board ship, that one. Let's go, guys. They're all going to leave and start. Yep, yeah, they're all going to... Oh, God, I think the top one's uh, lost the suspendium chambers. Where's all my boarding troops? There they go, look. I'll be honest, it's getting a bit cluttered. Uh, <laughs> it is getting a bit cluttered, but look at the fighters still go. I still don't know which ones are mine, but hey-ho. Yeah, been, been able to identify them is a bit of a must. And we've got mini airships all the way about the place. We've got so much fire. By the way, you notice I've turned off screen shake because it was really starting to uh, just getting into completely... It was completely intolerable by the end. Um, there's our fighters whizzing around. You can see them going. This is where you'll have to start putting flak on a lot of things if there's a lot of fighters. <laughs> I just thought, I just thought of something, hang on. Well, that's that fight over with, I just wanted to try it, and it's actually running very, very well. Let's go to leave, yes we do. Uh, landship editor, open design. Oh, prime example, there's the liftington, the, uh, the little vessel that could not do anything. Yep, it's official. You can actually put biplanes and triplanes and all this stuff on these. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Because you can then put... You can just have a carrier. You can just have a landborne carrier where you just have it drive straight onto the board and it's just filled with, say, 10 of these mini airships and it just launches them all. Yeah. Um, I think I've said all I really need to say. Fantastic. Love the additions. Absolutely amazing. Do still think you need more control over them. Would be nice to put them in a holding pattern. Would be nice to be able to put them on point defense or tell them what to attack in what situation. Obviously, it would have to be not very complicated because you know, giving loads of commands to it would be a bit annoying at times. But yeah, being able to, say, put them on, say, point defense, um, a target, uh, target priority for either ships or uh, other planes, that would be cool. Being able to identify what you've got and um, also not launch them because at the moment they just launch automatically on the attack which is um yeah it is what it is but uh if that's put in i mean even if it's not it's just like it would be a, a 
a bit of a gripe I'd have with it, but you know, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be like, oh my god, literally unplayable. But it would just bring so many more options. And you know, if you allow biplanes to shoot down um the torpedoes and stuff and things like that and have flak shoot down as well, then you're going to get this whole Battlestar Galactica type thing where you've got like, you know, a, a defensive perimeter being put up and then obviously you would have to go around it instead of through it. And yeah, it's so many more, it's loads of options. Either way, that is version 9.2B1 of Airships. You can access it by going onto the Steam list, uh, opening up the game, I go to um, the beta drop down and stuff. There's, if you read the post on it, it uh, that's in the uh, sort of news bit of it, you can see exactly how to do it. But um yeah, so looking forward to seeing uh, where it goes from here. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Comments in the comments and generic partings.